Do you know? On December 8, 2020, the Federal Trade Commission, along with 46 U.S. states, launched an antitrust lawsuit against Facebook. Wondering why did this even happen with your friendly and cozy Facebook and Instagram platform? Ever wondered how did you get those discounts and huge Black Friday sale ads that turned you into Rebecca from Confessions of a Shopaholic? Or ever wondered how Facebook knew it was your birthday? Forget yours. How did you even know your friend's birthday who's staying halfway across the world? Or how did Facebook was able to understand your intentions about something you disclosed with your friend on a chat? Or how did Facebook even understand if you liked an ad or a post just by checking your facial expressions through your own camera? Deep text, deep fake, anything ring a bell? Did you know that using your own data, Facebook was able to earn billions of dollars in revenue? The revenue of Facebook started with 1.97 billions of dollars and currently it is at 134.9 billions of dollars and projected to reach up to 170 to 180 billions of dollars in 2024. The annual net income of Facebook was 0.37 and now it is 39 billions of dollars just by using your data and all these ads and the deep text and deep fake platforms. Now let us go through it one by one. Facebook is capable to track each and every page you like, group you join and the profiles you follow. Facebook analyzes your status updates, picking up on a language, choices, topics and etc. The ads you click on simply glance, tell Facebook something or anything about you. The platform tracks data from websites with Facebook buttons and pixels. Facebook considers your friends activity to build a fuller picture. And when it comes to anniversary wishes like a birthday, life entries are a clear signal to Facebook about what's going on in your life. Sharing photos, greetings and announcements about these events all feed into Facebook's understanding of your lifestyle. Your phone's calendar adds another layer of information to their understanding of your life events. Your friend's wishes on Facebook strengthens the signal to Facebook that it is a significant date for you. Facebook can use your check-in, a fancy restaurant on your anniversary or a bar with your friends for your birthday and knowing too much data about you. Your activity, likes, pages you follow, interests you click on, tells Facebook a lot about your hobbies, political views, and even potential life milestones. Remember, the elections in US, this was something to do with it. Facebook analyzes your social circle and events you attend and reveal your social status, interests, and even your career paths. Location data can expose where you work, live, and even your favorite hangouts. Facebook can integrate with other services you potentially pull, like information. Example, LinkedIn. Facebook itself might not access public records, but data brokers can. Understanding your emotions, likes, comments, shares, and even who you follow or friend tells Facebook about what are your emotions or intentions on a particular post. Articles you click on, videos you watch, and even how long you spend looking at something tells Facebook what kind of content resonates with you. Frequency of contact and who you message can give clues about your social circles and relationships. Your response to ads, even if it's just hovering over them, tells Facebook what kind of products you might be interested in. So not just Facebook, there are many, many other companies who are doing the same thing. They are getting a lot of information from the users and earning millions and billions of dollars. How this is even all possible? This is possible through data science. And data science is the most booming career in the current IT market. And data scientists are being offered hefty salary packages. And in India, for a data scientist, the following salary is being offered. If you're a beginner, you're at least getting six lakhs per annum. And if you're an intermediate candidate, you can expect anything between six to 12 lakhs per annum. And for a highly experienced candidate, 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs or even more based on the company you're working with and the project you're working on. And if you're in America, the starting salary of a data scientist is between 80 to $120,000. And if you're an intermediate candidate, you have potential to earn 
120 to 150 thousand dollars and if you're an experienced candidate then you can expect around 150 to 200 thousand dollars per annum or even more based on the company and location you're working with and also the project you're working on welcome to simply learn and today we will learn the data science roadmap that said if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch then hit that like and subscribe once and the bell icon to get notified craving a career upgrade subscribe like and comment below dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions whether you're making a switch or aiming higher simply learn has your back Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data science programs. Simply Learn offers a data science postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive analytics, predictive analytics, regression, classification and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So, we will start off by understanding the agenda for today's discussion. Firstly, we will understand who exactly is a data scientist. Then, we will look into the skills required for you to become a data scientist. And once you're into the industry, what could be your important and critical roles and responsibilities as a data scientist? And if you're wondering how to become one, then we have curated a step by step approach or a roadmap to become a successful data science professional. First, who exactly is a data scientist? So, a data scientist is a specialist or a professional who uses their knowledge of mathematics, statistics, probability, and computer science to extract insights from large amounts of data. The data can be from anywhere. It can be from cloud, it can be from a website, it can be a simple, humble spreadsheet, comma-separated values, and anything and everything, whichever is considered to be the form of data. Could be a completely disoriented form of data, unstructured data, or semi-structured data, or a structured data. They are like detectives who uncover hidden patterns and trends to solve problems and make predictions. Now, the next part, the skills required to become a data scientist in 2024 and beyond. First, the programming skills. So, if you want to become a data scientist, then the bread and butter of data science are two languages. R and Python. Proficiency in programming languages like Python and R is fundamental for data scientists. They use these languages to manipulate data, build machine learning models, and develop data analysis scripts. The next important skill in your bucket list is statistics and mathematics. So data science is a big game of probability and statistics. A strong foundation in statistics and mathematics is essential for understanding the underlying principles of data analysis, hypothesis testing, and machine learning algorithms. Followed by that, the next important skill that you need to possess to become a data scientist is machine learning. Data scientists should have expertise in machine learning techniques, including supervised and unsupervised learning, deep learning, and reinforcement learning. They need to choose, train, and evaluate models effectively. Moving ahead, we will discuss about the next important skill, the data manipulation. Remember, before you apply your machine learning models or build an algorithm, you need to make sure that your data is top notch. You need to eliminate any discrepancies, any irrelevant entries from your data set by using the process of data manipulation and data cleaning. Skills in data processing, cleaning and transformation are crucial. Data scientists work with messy and complex data sets, so the ability to prepare data for analysis is key skill. Moving ahead, we have data visualization. Anything you analyze, anything you extract as an insight can not be readable by the stakeholders or business heads, right? In those scenarios, if you are able to picturize your insights, if you are able to picturize your findings and explain them in a visual way, then that would add a lot of impact. So 
proficient in data visualization skills can help data scientists communicate their findings effectively to both technical and non-technical stakeholders. Tools like Matplotlib, Seaborn, or Tableau and Power BI are commonly used. Next on the list is domain knowledge. So data analysis, data science can be applied in a wide variety of domain. It can be either in a manufacturing company, automobile company, fashion, food, etc. Right? So you need to understand your domain in a much better way before you delve into the data science. Understanding the specific industry or domain in which they work is valuable. Domain knowledge allows data scientists to ask relevant questions, identify meaningful patterns, and provide actionable insights. Now, we will continue with the important and critical roles and responsibilities of a data scientist. So there are six crucial roles and responsibilities for every data scientist. Data collection and cleaning or data manipulation, data transformation and data modeling as the first step. Next, exploratory data analysis. You will be writing Python scripts for conducting your exploratory data analysis. Model development, if you're working on a machine learning model, then the data visualization. Once you extract all the necessary business insights, you need to pictureize them, you need to visualize them so that it is understandable to both technical and non-technical stakeholders. Furthermore, you will be followed by feature engineering and lastly, continuous learning and optimization. Now let's understand each one of them in detail, starting with data collection and cleaning. Data scientists are responsible for acquiring, collecting and cleaning data sets. This involves sourcing data from various databases, APIs or other sources and ensuring its quality by handling missing values, outliners and inconsistencies. Moving ahead, the second role and responsibility is exploratory data analysis. Data scientists perform ETA to gain a deep understanding of data. They use statistical and visualization techniques to identify patterns, correlations and outliners which inform subsequent analysis. Moving ahead, we have the next step which is model development. Developing predictive models is a core responsibility. Data scientists build machine learning models to solve specific business and research problems, selecting appropriate algorithms and fine-tuning them for optimal performance. The next one in the list is data visualization. Data scientists create informative data visualizations and reports to communicate their findings and insights to non-technical stakeholders. Effective visualization is crucial for making data-driven decisions. And also, you need to make sure that your communication skill is top-notch so that you are on the same page with your stakeholder and nothing is missed out. Next in the list is feature engineering. Feature engineering involves selecting, creating, and transforming relevant variables to improve model accuracy. Data scientists are skilled in identifying which features are more informative for a given problem. Lastly, continuous learning and optimization. Data science field evolves rapidly. Data scientists must stay updated with the latest tools and techniques and they often need to retrain models and optimize algorithms as new data becomes available for business goals change. Now, let us move ahead into the most critical part of today's session, which is the step-by-step -step roadmap for becoming a successful data science professional. So the top 10 steps are as follows. The first step, education. As a prerequisite, you need to obtain a bachelor's degree in relevant fields such as computer science, mathematics, statistics, engineering, or a related discipline. Consider pursuing a master's or PhD for more advanced roles. The next prerequisite is programming skills. Start with Python, a widely used programming language in data science. Learn the basics of programming, data structures, and algorithms. Now come into step two. The step two is fundamentals. So the fundamentals of mathematics and statistics and also probability plays a major role in data science. Master key mathematical concepts including linear algebra, calculus and probability. Understand statistical methods and hypothesis testing. As part two of fundamentals, the next step in fundamentals is data manipulation. Learn data manipulation libraries like Python for pandas, Practice data cleaning, reshaping, and exploring data sets. Try data transformation, data modeling, etc. using Excel, SQL, Power BI, Tableau, and much more. Moving ahead, we have the step 3, data visualization. Explore data visualization libraries like Matplotlib, Seaborn, 
create meaningful visualizations to communicate insights effectively. Now we have the step four, machine learning. Machine learning fundamentals. Study the machine learning fundamentals, including supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. Learn about model evaluation and validation. As the second part of machine learning, we have machine learning libraries. Familiarize yourself with machine learning libraries such as scikit-learn and TensorFlow. Implement various algorithms and models. And moving ahead, we have the step five, which is about advanced topics. The first one is deep learning. Dive into deep learning using frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Understand neural networks, convolution networks, and recurrent networks. And part two in advanced topics is natural language processing and computer vision. Explore NLP techniques for text analysis and sentiment analysis. Learn computer vision for image recognition and object detection. As step six, we have real world experience. Kaggle and personal projects can be your portfolio. Participate in Kaggle competitions to apply your skills. Work on personal data science projects to build an excellent portfolio for yourself. Part two of real world experience is internship and entry level positions. Gain practical experience by securing internships or entry level positions in data related roles. Next is step seven, which includes advanced learnings. Specializations. Consider specializing areas like data engineering, data analysis, or machine learning engineering based on your interests. As step eight, you should have good soft skills. Communication is the key. Improve your ability to communicate data-driven insights to non-technical stakeholders. As step nine, we have continuous learning. Try to stay updated. Keep up with industry trends, new tools, and techniques through blogs, online courses, conferences, webinars, and live classes. As part two of step nine, try to build a successful network. Attend data science meetups, make new friends, conferences, and join online communities to connect with peers and mentors. And as step nine, job hunting. Apply for data science roles that match your skills and interests. Tailor your resume and cover letter to highlight your relevant experience. And part two of job search is interview preparation. Prepare for data science interviews by practicing coding, challenges, data analysis exercises, and behavioral questions. And part three is career growth. Continuously seek opportunities for career advancement and skill development. And that brings us to the end of this session on data science roadmap. Should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the step-by-step -step data science roadmap PPD that we used in this session, please do let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.